Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. We're out on another review for you today, and we're out on the Honda, the Honda Vision. Uh, the one, it's a 110 cc, and uh, yeah, I've rode quite a few of these little scooters, and I must say that I quite like the simplicity of uh, you know the ease of the ride. Uh, you know, it's not really too much to think about when you're riding. Uh, very nimble little bike this. I think it only weighs about 100 kilos, so that's the that's the curb weight. So the the wet weight weight of the bike. Um, yeah, very nice. I mean, uh, plenty of leg room there for me. I mean, what am I? Five foot seven, uh, 31 in, uh, inch inside leg, inside a leg. If that's any help to you. Yeah, I think this is a 109 cc. This one. So you get just under nine brake horsepower. I think at around seven and a half thousand RPM. I will run through all the specs in the usual way when we pull over, and I'll give you a thorough walk around of this machine. Indicators on. One thing I noticed straight away with this is uh, on the display there, the indicators it doesn't actually tell you which which direction the indicator is on. So you're putting your trust in. Well, yeah, I can't see the indicator obviously either. I'll cancel that. Yeah, that, that, that's one thing I noticed just then straight away. Um, but yeah, visibility through the mirrors, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. A little bit vibey, as can be expected. It's only a single cylinder, this, so... It's obviously single overhead cam. Uh, it's got the ESP, which is the enhanced... ESP, enhanced smart performance. Or well, I, think, I think it is, something like that anyway, but I will run through that. Overall, first first of uh, first impressions, yeah, very nice, very easy to ride. Like I say, nice little bit of pickup there. It's got the auto um, idle or auto, auto. It turns the bike off basically if you sit there in uh, at the traffic lights. Or I think it's claiming about another eight percent additional economy probably through that through that that system there. It kills the bike off when you you know when you're sitting at lights and junctions and uh, have you noticed a nice little cabby hole there as well somewhere to put your sandwiches I think it's got an increased uh, luggage under the seat as well so uh, they're saying 17.1 I think litres that seems a lot to me that Yeah, overall very nice. We'll try the brakes. Ain't nothing behind me. Front brake, rear brake, very progressive. No issues there. It's got a single 220 millimeter disc on the front there with a hydraulic um, caliber and a drum on the rear, 130 mil drum on the rear. So yeah, no issues with the with the stop with stopping of the bike. Like I say, it doesn't weigh that much anyway, 100 kilos. So. Yeah, 16 inch wheel on the front there as well, so I think in a 14 on the rear, so very good for sort of, you know, if you're going to run through a pothole, you don't want two smaller wheels to, uh, you know, you want bigger wheels really to soak up the bumps, what we like over here. Yeah, fairly comfortable, seat's a little bit hard on the Jaxi, <laughs> nothing really major to worry about though, yeah. Very nice. We'll pull over just up here and I'll give you a walk around of the bike and I'll go through all of the specs in the normal way. Nice little metallic. Uh, it comes in four colours as well, this. So, uh, this one, yeah, it's for sparkly white. Very nice. Well, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that old subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. It'd be much appreciated to have you along. Plenty more bike reviews on the way. Plenty more ride outs. Um, yeah. Oh, I have also test rode the Honda Mode 125 and the Honda 125i. I'll put links into the in the I'll put a link in the corner of the video somewhere. Uh, yeah, don't disappear off yet though. Watch it at the end <laughs> if you're considering uh, buying one of these machines. I mean, yeah, very nice, very smooth, very very nimble. This would be good for a commuter. I mean, what with the fuel crisis at the moment that we have, uh, you know, this would be a, a good way to get round that that issue I think it's got a lot, lot of 4 litre tank so you could fill this bike up potentially for, well at the, at the moment anyway, for under a tenner 
Yeah. And that's probably good for around, I would say, you know, 150 miles for the gallon. So, uh, can't really go too far wrong. Right, well, going up a slight hill here, so slowly building up the speed. Sitting here at 50 mile an hour, got the throttle wide open. We go over the crest of this little uh, incline here. Yeah. Horn, what's the horn like? Standard type of horn, nothing to write home about. Yeah, we're starting to pick up speed now, 55. Can we get to 60? I'll just tuck down out the wind a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, nearly, come on. I'm determined to get a 60. Well, just under 60 there. Um, the old display there is very basic. There's not. This has got no electronics at all on it. Not even ABS, so it's very basic. You've got the analog speedo there, and you've got a little LCD display there as well, which is indicating your your, your fuel and your total mileage. Was it done? Not done many miles this at all. 30, 341 miles. So uh, yeah. But overall, yeah, my first impressions are that you know. It is what it is really. I mean, I, I am a massive lover of these little skewers, uh, like I say, the simplicity of them. You know, there's room under the seat for your luggage. There's also a little, little hanger there for your, your shopping bags. Room for the pillion on the back there. Uh, they're fairly comfortable. Fairly comfortable. Right, I'll pull over just in here. I think there's a pub up here. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too busy. I'm pulling out of the way not to cause any bother anywhere. And I'll give you a thorough walk around of this machine and I'll go through all of the specs. Yeah, as you can see there, they're both flashing left and right. It's a little bit off-putting, but pull over here. Ooh, a little bit bumpy there. Pull over here in the sun. <sighs> Side stand, very easy. Just cut the bike out as well. So yeah, it's got the smart key as well, this bike. So. I'm very familiar with this so um, you basically push the button in there uh, you've got the seat option there so you can now open the seat we'll have a look under there in a bit and you turn it once more there swings into life with ignition you pull on one of the brake levers either one pressing actually let's try that again springs into life pull in the brake lever unusual won't start there we go Mm. Oh, because the side stands down. That's why. Oh, it just says hello on there. There you go. Springs into life. So yeah. All right. Okay. Let's jump off and I'll run through the full specs of the machine. Right. So here she is, the Honda Vision 110, which is 110 cc and it's got that uh, enhanced smart power. The bike is an electric start, 109 cc with electronic fuel injection air-cooled four-stroke overhead cam a single cylinder engine and there was plenty enough poke there for a little uh, for a little sort of commuter bike uh, a little runabout you know no issues there uh, maximum power of uh, 6.4 kilowatt just under nine brake horsepower actually at 7500 rpm um, yeah which is which is okay for the you know obviously for the size of the bike a uh, maximum torque of nine newton meters at 5750 rpm uh, yeah, but then you have 0.8 litre oil capacity as well, so uh, yeah, nothing there to uh, to write home about really. Is the the frame type is a uh, pressed steel underbone, and the seat height has a seat height of 785 millimetre, and uh, yeah, no issues with the seat there. Probably nice and comfortable there for your pillion. I found that a little bit hard. I mean, I've only been on the bike for a little while as well. Um, so yeah, the curb weight is 100, like I said before, 100 kilograms, so nice and light there, no issues. And on the front there, we've got disc brake uh, with a 220 millimeter uh, caliper there, a uh, disc there, sorry. Uh, yeah, with a 16 inch wheel on the front there, so it's great for potholed roads, you know, being on the, on the slightly larger side uh, for this sort of style of bike. The rear brakes, uh, there's no disc on the rear there. It's a drum type brake in there. Uh, 130 millimeter drum on the rear uh, the rear wheel yeah slightly smaller 14 inch wheel on the rear there yeah it's got a center stand i noticed there as well yeah i didn't just notice that there so that's that's handy very handy the forks front forks yeah telescopic 31 millimeter non-adjustable 
uh, non-adjustable forks there and yeah so we've got no issues no issues there suspension's nice and nice and soft not too hard just in the middle really rear suspension is the single shock there uh, non-adjustable again there on the rear so yeah no, no adjustment there for preload uh what else can i say about that you know little adjuster there for your rear for your rear brake as well fuel tank size under the seat there is uh, 4.9 liters uh, they're claiming actually 8% more efficiency due to this idle stop uh, that you have on the bike. You can actually turn the idle stop off on that switch there. Uh, so yeah, f fuel consumption is acclaimed um, 52.6 kilometres per litre, uh, which in my, with my mass is around 148 miles per gallon. So uh, that's with my maths anyway. The transmission and drive is the automatic centrifugal clutch drive type with the V-belt final, dri final drive, uh, the CVT. Uh, yeah, instruments like I said before are the LCD and analog there as well. Uh, just with the basic info, uh, the bike has the the Honda Smart Key as well, which I've got in my back pocket there. Uh, lighting, we'll turn the lights on. Actually, so it's a standard uh, standard bulbs as well. No no LED, no uh, yeah no fancy LED lights there. Let's have a look at the rear, the rear lights. Yeah, just your standard bulbs there, like I say. Uh, the bike comes in four different colour options, which are all priced at, uh, at the moment, according to the Honda website, £2,749. So, yeah, not bad at all. Uh, yeah, the four colours are Poseidon Black Metallic, uh, Candle Candy Noble Red, Pearl Jasmine White, which is this one, and Matte Galaxy Black Metallic. So, yeah, very, very nice colour. I like the, the sparkle. Uh, the metallic finish on there it's a bit, little bit dirty the bike but uh, yeah passenger foot pegs there looks seem to be very fairly good quality actually fairly fairly heavy duty then uh, oil dipstick there yeah nice little exhaust yeah let's have a look under the seat so in order to access the seat as long as you're in the vicinity of the bike you can just put it under the seat set in there press the button and uh up she comes so yeah there's no usb plug in there it looks like there's enough room in there for a helmet actually so uh, they're claiming the 17.7 liters apparently so uh, it's a fair size storage space under there uh got a screwdriver in there as well just the one reversible <laughs> stick that back in there fuel tank for uh just over four liters yeah brilliant excuse the camera on there the 360 camera <laughs> that's in order just to try and get some better shots uh, as i'm riding all right let's close the bike down nothing under there of any interest probably would have a, a service book in there or something when you buy the bike maybe or yeah okay what else can i tell you brake levers uh, nice and easy no issues with them oh it's got a little parking brake there as well a little quitter on there as well what's he doing hopefully he's not dead oh yeah he's still alive just a bit mashed Let's try and do this with one hand so you pull that in and pull that up a little lever there and that's the rear brake locks on let's try it see if i can move the bike yeah so uh, to release that he says <laughs> just pull the lever in basically and it released yeah so nice little trick there okay well i think we should uh, jump on and ride some more oh actually what i could do is try and get it on the center stand not going to be a bit tricky one-handed but <sighs> yeah not too bad i mean considering that was one-handed um you know it's fairly hand handy to have to stand if you wanted to clean the bike clean the wheels um yeah just in general okay right let's jump on and ride some more so yeah as long as you've got the keys in your pocket the uh, the honda smart key uh you've got no no uh should have no issues so stick it on uh ignition pardon be quiet <laughs> siri i didn't i didn't want to talk to siri <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So yeah, I mean, perfect for days like today, weather-wise. Absolutely perfect. You can't moan at all. Um, and I, th I honestly think this would make a lovely Kamiwa bike. You know, just round town as well. Be brilliant. Take you to work, no problem. Uh, sit you in traffic. Oh, actually filter through the traffic, no issues. Yeah. Very smooth as well. Not too bumpy on the suspension. Um, yeah, I can't really moan. Like I said, the only niggles I have got so far really was the the uh, you know that indicator where you got the lights flashing. Uh, both you know both both are flashing, which is a bit bit weird really. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't think I've ever seen it before. That's like a little bit unusual that. But yeah, very minimalistic on the just on the just on the dash there. Very minimalistic. Uh, oh, it's got a little cubby holder there as well, you, so you can stick your sandwiches in there. There's no USB uh, port in there. Well, I did look, so uh, there's not loads of room in there either. As far as room goes, uh, yeah, nice, nice amount of room there for my feet. I'm not, I'm not sort of claustrophobic uh, or cramped is the word. So yeah. All good, all good. Let's take a left here. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. <laughs> a luxury motorcycling or scootering. Yeah, you can't beat it, really. Like I say, when the weather's like this today, lovely to see the sun out, actually, as well. It started raining earlier, and I got a little bit worried, so I don't like getting wet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I say, this also this bike has got no electronics, no rider aids, nothing. It's not even got ABS, and I think that's because it's below a 125 cc, so it's not required, I don't think, by by sort of you know the legislation. So lovely sparkle on there as well, you know, under the sun. So nice paint job. Horn. I think I'd already done the horn, but there's no one about, so visibility's not too bad for them mirrors. Yeah, nice. Very good. Well, really do appreciate you joining me today on this uh, first ride, first impressions review. And uh, yeah, look forward to all your comments. Hit the like if you like the video. Hit the dislike if you don't. Hopefully you won't. But anyway, take care and see you soon.